Hello everybody. Welcome back to How to Build a B1 Bomber. And good morning. I got this already uh, this morning. I've got two coats of uh, I'm a part all on it. I'm going to get ready to give it a glass one. Let it set up and we can get the resonance. I already got it a little heavy over there when I already started. I just forgot to turn on the camera. Hopefully I think my compressor's off too. Hold on a second. set up and we can start slinging some resin man see all that shiny now it ends up like a a coat of cellophane it's really weird stuff you can you can draw, spill lacquer thinner on it you can scrub it with lacquer thinner it won't touch the stuff hit it with water and it just melts pretty cool stuff but uh I've had some questions I'm gonna take and <coughs> I'm going to write some of the questions down that you guys asked me yesterday and uh, I'm going to answer them all for you today while we're waiting for stuff to set up and stuff. So any questions you guys have, let me have it through the day and uh, I'm going to actually go in there and write them down while I'm waiting for resin to dry. I'll have lots of downtime today and uh, see if we can't get some of them questions answered. I just can't think, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'd go in there and read them and get busy and my mind's always going 100 miles an hour and thinking two steps ahead and uh, I just can't think of them at the moment. Oh, someone on RC Universe asked the price of that white resin down there. That white resin in that gray bucket, that is actually about $100 cheaper than the clear resin. Believe it or not, I don't know why. Maybe it's because you only need one gallon of hardener. And with the uh, clear resin, you need two gallons of hardener. So that might be one reason why it's cheaper. But I'll get that in Associated Industries. And they just call it white resin. Epox. Anytime you're talking resin to them people, you, let, you need to let them know right off the bat that you want epoxy. 
Uh, polyester is not good, people, for what we do. That's the, the fumes will kill you, number one. Number two, it warps. It's not good for making molds. It's a lot cheaper, but there's a reason epoxy costs more. But in the, the gray buckets to white resin, and then the white bucket is the clear resin. That'll be the other way around, don't you think? But uh, that's what it is, and it's about two twenty, two hundred twenty dollars for five gallons of resin and a one gallon of hardener. And uh, man, I sure like that stuff. It puts a really nice uh, surface coat on the molds, and uh, I don't thicken it as much, and uh, and just put more coats. You know, to to build it up, and my molds are really starting to come out good. You know, the I learn stuff off of this stuff every day, people. You know, a person just can't know too much. But you know, the big difference is I share what I know, and always willing to listen. You know, my and what describes a good modeler in my book is someone that is not just so dead set on his ways that he's willing to listen to other people and try different ways you know but what works good for one guy may not work for another you know just like holding a radio you know there's no really right and wrong way it's so what's comfortable for you and what works the best oh I don't want to tell you guys something I took a chewing yesterday I took a pretty good one uh, about my chisels. <laughs> Man, I'm sorry, dude. I didn't mean to upset you like that, but uh, it's kind of what I think about it. I don't carve with wood, and I think tools have multi functions. And, uh, you know, I bought them with the intention of just using them around the shop, not necessarily to chisel on wood. But uh, I think I think tools have multi functions, and uh, I use one <laughs> works. Sorry, man, didn't mean to upset you. I know you're a woodworker craftsman, and you're probably one of them guys that can take them chisels and just carve awesome stuff. But that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> So what else? Uh, took a chewing on the chisels. Guy asking about the resin. And there's a link to Associated Web uh, Industries on our website. And they got a website up and going now. And anytime you talk with them people, be sure and tell them Bob from YouTube sent you. And you'll get a little better deal. But they can get you anything you want. Uh, cloth, resin, carbon fiber. Uh, waxes, uh, part all, uh, peel ply, uh, anything you want. They got it right there, bam. And uh, about a half the price of some of them online stores. I was really shocked at some of them online stores. You know, they say, oh, their epoxy's this and their epoxy's that. Epoxy's pretty much epoxy people. It's not rocket science. That's what they told me down there at Associated Industries, you know. I'm sure there's some stuff out there that's not good. You know, that's not what I'm saying. You know, surely some's better than others, but you know, uh, these people sell the Boeing, because that's here in Wichita, that's what we have. Boeing, Cessna, Learjet, and uh, shoot, they didn't have a website for years. They just had one up and going, and that's what they use. So if it's good enough for them, it's good enough for me, but this video is about over. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to load it. While this part all is drying, I'm going to get cleaned up a little bit and get set up for slinging some resin. And uh, you guys got some questions all day long. I'm going to make videos all day. Just uh, hit me with them. And I'm uh, sorry, man. Didn't mean to use that chisel for opening that can of wax. <laughs> I'll try and not do that so much just for you. But uh, we'll see you back in a little bit.